Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So my name is Syairah Kila Binti Ahmad And today I would like to talk about Imam Fakhruddin Arazi and his views on the concept of determinism and free will Okay, so who is Imam Fakhruddin Arazi? Okay, so Imam Fakhruddin Arazi or his full name is Imam Abu Abdullah Muhammad Ibn Umar Ibn Hussein Ibn Al Hussein Fakhruddin Arazi and he is prominently known as Fakhruddin Arazi or Imam Arazi or Imam Fak Ibn Al Khatib or Imam Al Mushakikin and he was born in Rai in Northern Persia in 543 to a family of scholars who originally came all the way from Tabaristan and he is also considered as the revival of Islam and also among the greatest prominent Muslim theologians, scholars as well as the author of one of the most authoritative commentaries on the Quran in the history of Islam. Not only that, Imam Fakhruddin Arazi are also considered as the second Al-Ghazali as he tried to harmonize between reason and revelation and that's why he is considered as among the most influential figures who tried or who played an important role in attacking against the rationalists. <laughs> His aggressiveness has created a lot of enemies and involved him in many conflicts and problems. Uh, and there is also another say, uh, and there is also a rumor that even though Imam Fakhruddin Arazi is considered as the theologian, but however the theologians uh, considers him as a philosopher and accuse him of rational bias. And a genocide like a common people considers him as a, as devoid of truth. And also a Sufi considers him as an innovator and far from truth. And there is also another say or another rumor that uh, Imam Fakhruddin Arazi uh, or the Mu'tazilites condemns Imam Fakhruddin Arazi as an Asharat. But however, the Asharat themselves uh, neglected or uh, disowned him. So from here, uh, we can understand that uh, the enemies of Imam Fakhruddin Arazi have accused him with all sorts of uh, accusations and crimes including murdering and uh, causing extermination of other people and so on and so forth. Okay, so as we all know, there are many books and writings that have been written by Imam Fakhruddin Arazi and among the most popular or important works of Fakhruddin Arazi are Kitab At-Tafsir Al-Kabir, Shar'uyun Al-Hikmah as well as Muhassal uh, Afkar Al-Mutaqaddimin wal Mutaakhirin and many more. As we all know, Imam Fakhruddin Arazi was following the teaching of uh, the school of Shafi'i and Ashari school of thought, which clearly shows how he was greatly influenced by Imam Al Ghazali and Imam Al Haramain. And since he is following the he was following the teaching of uh, the school uh, the Ashari school of thought, thus it clearly uh, means that he is accepting the idea of determinism and rejecting the idea of free will that has been the extreme free will that has been advocated by the Mu'tazilite school of thought okay so what is the concept of determinism and what is the concept of free will that I'm talking about okay so the concept of determinism is the idea that all of our actions and all of our choices are necessitated by the early events and as for the concept of free will and predestination uh, the uh, Imam Fakhri Arazi upholds the same position as Asharites, which uh, which is believing in the concept, uh, believing that man's power has no influence at all over their actions, as their actions are pre preordained by God. Okay, moreover, Imam Fakhri Arazi also accepts the idea or the notion of. Uh, cusp or acquisitions uh, which he believed to be the slight improvement of the previous concept of predestination as it shows the distinction between the creations and uh, the acquisitions where God is the creator and human beings on the other hand are the acquisitors. So this notion advocates the idea that uh, God's power are uh, God's power is eternal and the power of human beings derived from God, which God creates the ability and power in human beings for them to perform an action. And also Imam Fakhruddin Arazi believes that God creates the power and ability in human beings for them to decide either to do a good thing or a bad thing. So from here we can conclude that uh, Imam Fakhruddin Arazi completely reject the extreme idea of free will that have been 
that has been advocated by the uh, the Muqtazilites because according to him, this idea is illogical and absurd as it denies the absolute power of God, the almighty power of God and enable men to do whatever they want which is contradicted to God's and will. Also, Imam Fakhruddin RZ believes that even though human beings might have some freedom of action and total freedom of thought but however, only God has the absolute power to create the power or ability in human beings as the human beings uh, do not have the capability to do so due to their limitations. Okay, so I think that's all from me, Syaira Kila Binti Ahmad. So thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.